Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how the counter function block works. First, we will go through how the FX0 PLC counter block works. It doesn't have the newer CTU and CTD blocks like the newer FX series PLC have. I have set up a couple tags needed for the block already. We need 2-bit tags and one 16-bit word tag. We can find the counter block in the element selection. It is named counter FBM. Now we will add our tags to the block. The coil input is a bit tag that makes the counter trigger. The value out output is the tag that will show how many times the coil been triggered, and it is a 16-bit word tag. The status output is a bit tag that will trigger once the value reached its preset value. Let's simulate the program and see how it works. When I trigger the coil input, it will count by one for each trigger. And it will do so until I reach six as I set as my preset value. Once it reached my preset value, then status output will be high too. Now we will try make an FX2 PLC project and see how it differentiate from the FX0 PLC. This version and the FX1 and 3 both have count up and count down function blocks. We will go through them both. Let's add one of each to the ladder logic. I have also added the tags for this project here already. I have added four tags for the CTU block and four tags for the CTD block. Let's add the tags to the function blocks. The CU stands for count up and is the input trigger that will make the block count up. Q is the output bit that will go high once the preset value is reached. CV is the output that will count how many times the CU been triggered. And the reset input will reset the counter value. And PV is the preset value. The CTD block works about the same. The only difference is that it counts down instead of up. And instead of resetting the value, it can load a value that it can count down from.
Let's simulate the program and see how it works. When I trigger the count up input it will increase by 1 until it reaches the preset value and the Q output will be high. And when I trigger the reset input the value will be resetted. On the CTD block the Q output is already high. But now that I load my value of 5 it will go low again until I count it down to 0. I made a little program as example for the counter block. I made my own function block that will turn on one output on the PLC for each time the counted value increased by one. It will continue doing so until it reach 11. And then it will reset itself. Let's take a look how it works. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it please give it a like and subscribe. In the next video, we will show how to make timer blocks.